Edrin James was born on August 1st, 1978 in Immokalee, Florida. As a kid, Edrin was no stranger to hard work and struggle. Growing up in poverty, he saw his mother work long hours to provide for him and his siblings. He also witnessed his grandfather literally work himself to death. Seeing this combined with the harsh reality of living in the ghetto molded James into the person he would become. Edrin found football at a young age, playing in nearby fields with his friends. When he wasn't doing that, he would work as a watermelon harvester, or he would buy drugs for the local addicts to smoke, but only if they smoked in front of him. I'm not kidding about that last one. This is something he did quite often as a kid. I do not condone smoking crack or buying crack for people to smoke. With the money he earned harvesting watermelons, he bought a car and would spend a lot of time in Miami. It was there where he got his iconic look when he bought gold teeth and twisted his hair into dreadlocks. In high school, James would become a standout for more than his rough looks. His football play caught the attention of Miami University. There, he would dominate, putting up record numbers in his three-year stint at the program. Edwin James would be drafted fourth overall in the 1999 NFL Draft. He would be replacing future Hall of Famer Marshall Falk and would be playing alongside future Hall of Famers in Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison. The three would form the new version of the triplets and would dominate in 1999. Edwin would prove to be more than just a replacement to Marshall Falk, leading the league in rushing and gaining his first Pro Bowl nod and only All-Pro selection. The following season, Edwin would win the rushing title for the second straight year and made another Pro Bowl. In 2001, he tore his ACL, but would bounce right back the following season. Edge would have another pair of back-to-back 1,500-yard -back rushing seasons in 04 and 05 the latter in what would be his final season in Indy. Due to contract disputes, Edron left to play in the desert. He had another productive season, but the Cardinals would miss the playoffs. Meanwhile, the Colts would win the Super Bowl that year. Jim Irsay liked Edron so much that he still sent him a Super Bowl ring. What a nice guy. As a Cardinal, Edron became more disgruntled with his role. He was being used more as a blocker rather than a runner, which is for some reason something running backs don't like. Edron would inform the team that he would not return to the Cardinals after the 2008 season. Despite the animosity between James and the Cardinals, Arizona still made the Super Bowl, which they lost due to one of the greatest catches in NFL history. That offseason, James' longtime girlfriend passed away from cancer. James would ask for his release, and the Cardinals would oblige. After a summer of grieving and declining offers, Edge would sign a deal with the Seahawks. The tenure was short-lived, however, as James would only play in seven games, and the Seahawks would cut him. After mulling it over, James decided that he would retire from the NFL. In 2012, Edron would be inducted into the Colts Ring of Honor. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2020. Edron James holds almost every meaningful Colts rushing record. In the 2000s, there were very few who could match his production. In Indy, he will always be remembered for his stylistic runs, gritty plays, and of course, his iconic look.